Namaste and a very, very good morning to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. And in today's presentation, we will be looking at how to work with date and time variable. Which feature in SPSS helps us work with date and time variable? Even before I show you practically how to work with date and time variable, may I request you to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues. To show you the SPSS date and time wizard, which helps us work with date and time variable, what I'll first do is get some data in SPSS. Let me click on the file menu, choose recently used data. SPSS shows 10 recently used files. I will choose the first data set here. You can see here, there are three variables that are present. The first one is our ID variable which is the employee ID. Second variable is gender. And the third variable is birth date. What is the sample size in this data? The sample size is 474. Let me scroll up. You can see here, this is not a problem. We can take frequency bar, we can construct a bar chart and pie chart for variables like gender. But when you look at birth date, birth date per se cannot be used for any machine learning or any statistical model building process. So it's important to make use of this variable and derive certain additional features. And the derived features can then be used as independent variables in the model. Firstly, what is the format of this particular variable? To understand the format of this variable, we can click on the variable view. The third row here is birth date. We can see the type of the variable is date. And when you click on the type, you can see here there are different options, but the option that is chosen here, here is date. And it is of the format MMDD YYYY. So the first portion here is month and the second part here is day. Let me click on okay. Let me switch to data view. So the way we can read this is the first person's birth date is 3rd February, 1952. Second person's birth date is 23rd May, 1958, so on and so forth. Using this variable, can I extract age and then go on to find who is the oldest employee and who is the youngest employee based on this information. To do this, I can go to the transform menu. You see a whole lot of options in the transform menu. I will choose the option date and time wizard. This is an option which specifically helps us work with date and time variables. Let me click on this particular option. Once you click on this particular option, a new window pops up. And in this new dialog box, what you can do is you can choose any of the six options that SPSS provides. Some of these options are calculate with dates and time. You have another option which says extract a part of a date or time variable. This is mainly used when you want to extract the month part or the day part or the year part. Sometimes even hour and second can also be extracted. But here, my goal is not to extract a part of the date or time variable. My goal is to derive a new feature based on date and time. How do I do this? I, I will do this by clicking on the fourth option. And then let me choose the option next. There are two options here that SPSS provides. The first is add or subtract a duration from a date. And it gives an example, add a month to an age or add a time variable to a date time variable. This is not very helpful. I'll choose the second option, calculate the number of time units between two dates. Very simple. If you have two dates, you can take a simple subtraction and calculate the number of time units between the two dates. This is the simple method that I'll be using. I can take today's date and uh, use the date of birth of a person, take a simple subtraction between these two variables and create the age column. Now, I will choose the option next. This is the step two in date and time wizard. 
SPSS is now asking me what is date one and what is date two so that it can subtract one from the other. The current date, which is nothing but the system date, can be pushed into date one. Date of birth or birth date of each individual can be pushed into date two. Now, what SPSS will do is it will take a simple subtraction between the current date and the date of birth and calculate a new variable. Now, let me choose the variable. Let me choose the option next. The resultant, the result variable can be called as age. Variable, la variable label would be age in years. Now, I can choose the option finish. As you can see here, a new column has been created, which is called as age. Now, this variable tells me what is the age of each and every employee. The first person's age is 70, second person's age is 63, third person's age is 92, so on and so forth. As you scroll down, SPSS has created the age variable for each and every employee. My original question was, how do you find out who is the oldest employee and who is the youngest employee? To do this, all that we need to do is select this particular column, age, right click, and simply choose the option, sort descending. The moment I choose sort descending, you can see an individual here whose age is 93 years. She was born on 10th February, 1929. She's a female, her employee ID is 443, and her age is 93 years. If I want to find out who's the youngest employee, all that I need to do is select this particular variable, right click, and then say sort ascending. As you can see here, there is a missing variable. There's a missing observation for one of the individuals, but the youngest employee seems to be a female whose age is 51 years. She was born on December uh, 5th, 1970 because this is MMDDYY format. It is not really uh, December. It is, uh, it is 12th May, 1970. My apologies for it. It is MM, the first two letters, the five corresponds to month. So it is uh, May here and 12 corresponds to the day. So it is 12th May, 1970. Her age is 51 years. So like this, we can calculate age using date and time wizard. There are other options as well, which we can uh, perform using uh, the date and time wizard, but that will be for another video. With this, I've come to the end of today's uh, presentation. I hope you have liked this video. I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you very much. Have a great day.